Hello, this is Yatesy Gaming, and uh, making this video of a comment that I've recently received this morning, and they are right. So, this is my character, just uh, playing all 300 hours, and these are all the secret worlds in my world, because why not, right? <laughs> But yeah, I'm just gonna be going through basically every single creature in this game and gonna add some details to how you get them. Now, this is my world, fully packed, got platinum in this game with all these. Very beautiful. Got the rarest things up here in the left corner. Coin gun, slime, the Uzi, you know, just all the rare stuff. Got maxed out character, because I played this game a lot. And, yeah, like, I don't have all the trophies because I haven't played since I got 100%. But yeah, this is the 100% guide. So you have all the NPCs, they're very simple. Like, if you don't know how to get all these guys, then I don't know. What Santa, basically, you have to play at Christmas time. I prefer Christmas Day, just to know when to have him. Like, you have to have, like, a building room ready for him so he moves in. Or you can just kill, d defeat the 15 waves of the pumpkin moon. No, the... Across the moon, yeah. And then he can come. These guys, simple. She, I have no idea how you get her. <laughs> this has been a hundred percent guide, I don't even know how to get her. But yeah, that's that's just how it is. And the, these guys, you purchase them from Yeah, this is a zoologist. Da, da, da. Party, you should know how to get them. Uh, I probably should be going through all of the events, but hey, I can do it for all for all, all the numbers. Basic them, uh, you can craft them with dynamite. Sl Bunny, that's a pumpkin. It's a Halloween thing. This is a uh, Christmas event. This is a luck thing, like a lucky chance. Uh, just uh, not like a normal bunny, just lucky. And then these are the three type of birds. Best way to do it is just get a bird spawner. Best way, if you want to get those. Same with the gold bird, you can do it that way. Like, you can do the same with the gold bunny. So yeah, like the goldfish and the gold goldfish, luck thing, squirrels. Basically spawn the surface, same as the bunnies. Gold squirrel, yep. Mouses, just doing underground. Not in the cavern layer, underground. And then the frogs, grasshoppers, just mine stuff. Like these are just all the critters. So, like worms, simple, dragonflies, um, yeah. Seahorse, like these guys spawn in the ocean, you should know this. The water, these guys spawn in the water, okay. You have to have at least a, wa a water spawning area. Ladybugs, same place. Ducks, mostly spawn on water. Same with the turtle. Night owl spawns at night. Those spawn at night. Enchanted, those are... I'm pretty sure they spawn near fallen stars. That's how they work. And then all the fairies just uh, go underground. I've found it most useful. A rat spawns in the that biome, like you should clearly see it spawn in that biome. Those two. Then all of these. Now, if you don't know how to get all these crystal creatures, it's very simple. Yeah, I will show you. The way how I did it is, I created this. Build an underground area with a lot of these trees and then they just start spawning like crazy that's, that's what they do like uh 
let's see if I can get one to spawn. Like, they like to spawn next to NPCs and these trees. Yeah, the least have to stand here for like a, a second. Oh yeah, this is how you get them to spawn. And then, uh... Truffle Worm, you should know how to spawn him, because Duke Fishron. These guys, just... Desert... That's also desert to make sure you get that one. That's, yeah, it's these water type deserts. And just ocean, and yeah, there's three types of turtles. You have to be aware of that. And then you have all these. And then you have the... Those guys in the dungeon. And those guys, uh... They, they spawn at giant trees. You have the Goblin Scout. He spawns near the ocean in the forest biome. And then you have all the slimes. Pinky, rare. Windy Day. The Those two on Windy Days. Yeah, I think it's just better if I do it this way. So these are all Christmas types. These guys spawn on the surface. Same as that, and these two spawn at night. Simple. And now these guys, if you don't know how to spawn this, it's a thing that you get from a Christmas present from dropped by these guys. They drop Christmas presents. And you can basically spawn it, the Frost Legion. And then the pillars, you should not need a guide for those because you should all automatically. Part army, very simple. You get a part map from any creature in the ocean. These guys are the most annoying to spawn because you have to be like, if you want to find them as fast as possible, get like an unlimited flying mount and just uh, fly at the very top of the world. Simple. Then you can just find a probe and spawn them. Solar clips, very simple. That's all of them. Pumpkin Moon, very simple. That's all of them. You should not need guides for these two. But these guys you do, because I've found that these guys are the hardest to find. Especially these ones, because if you're in hard mode, like, these guys do barely spawn underground, because the other skeletons spawn instead. These are like the pre hard mode ones. So yeah, that's that's all of these. So you have to like, yeah, like these guys are very annoying to find. So good luck with those ones. And uh, where's the next? Yeah, ha these. Okay, this one here, the crystal tonate. Like this guy, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Sorry, but he was my very last person. If you haven't seen my video spawns in a tornado in a desert in the hollow like you have to make sure you do that i need to stop pressing that button <laughs> but that's how you get that guy and these guys most of them spawn underground so that's a thing in the thing these guys some of these guys took me a while to get because you have to actually build a water pond in a mushroom biome just to spawn one of these guys so that's a thing temple do not need a guide don't need a guide yeah you need to do the old one's army that's a thing now him out sorry about that um, but yes, this guy spawns in the cor corruption in the ice. Same thing with this shark. You have to make sure you do it. Because there'll be one you lost. Now you have these guys. It's very simple. Except some of these guys spawn underground. So you have to like build all these biomes underground too. Now all these guys, very simple, pixie, 
these these uh these ones spawn from this person if you don't know like soon i'll be getting to like the real complicated ones like this one here two percent chance well 0.2 but yeah <laughs> Very nice. And then same thing with this guy. Underground corruption for them. And then you have these guys. Most of these are just very simple. You don't need a guide for those ones. But make sure you farm some of them. Before hard mode. Because I'm pretty sure there's worm. Yeah that worm does not spawn. But I'm not sure. Maybe he does or doesn't. Just uh, be careful with that one. Same thing with them. That's another shark that you have to be worried about because you have to create all three. Actually, no, all four. This. Yep, you have to create all four. Same thing with them. These all the. All of them. That's all of them. You have to keep a lookout for this one too. That's uh. Feisty one. But I haven't even got to the most annoying ones to get. Like these ones here. If you just create a farm in the jungle, you, you can get all these guys. Very simple. Like I created a farm for them. Well, not for them. I just created one in general. Now, here's the hard one. Make sure you kill a bunch of the creatures before hard mode, or like, even the dungeon guardian. You have to kill him at least once in your world. This is how most people mess up. You have to. Wait. Never mind. <laughs> they actually made it so it's the same person. Yeah, they did, so people actually miss it. But this here, this is the hardest one. Because he spawns after this guy. Because when you are fighting this guy, he spawns him. The thing is, you don't kill this guy. Because if you keep this guy alive long enough, they'll spawn in this guy. That's how it works. And all the rest of these guys, you just need all the different backgrounds of the dungeon to spawn most of them. Like, there's full guides out there on YouTube anyway that can help you with those. I'm not sure the exact spawning. These are hell. Yeah, all simple, really. Like, this guy, you find him, give him a potion. If you don't know how to do that, there's guys out there. Like, this is a thing for that uh, army that I was talking about, the alien one. That's what you need to find. It's them. I'm pretty sure I saw that already. There's all ice mobs. Now, these are not rare. All of them are just not rare, okay? Just uh, farm long enough and you'll get all of them. Just the most of the critters you have to worry about, like these two. That took me a while to get them, because I didn't know. Eh, all simple here. Now, these are the four mustard ears that gave me pain. <laughs> don't do what I did. Be smart. Very simple. Don't insta-kill this boss, because you need to kill that. So, that's a thing. All these guys, like, uh, probably the rarest one is 100%, like, this guy, but you can do it with a farm. And I guess there's this guy that's in the underground jungle. Now, these are, most of these are super rare to get, like, this guy. Ugh. Like you have just all of these just to do the torch god just get a hundred torches in one area all bunched together boom got it but you have to not die <laughs> that's that that's that 
on a very simple spider nest the snow now the boss i've killed him enough times to see his drops but yeah it's a pretty good boss on a windy day most of these will screw you over just uh, make sure make sure you go out to a nice place to find them <laughs> These are all the... Huh, yeah, this guy spawns in... Well, the ice on a storm. Basically like the rainbow slime, just in the snow. Night mobs. Most of these are super annoying to get, like the costume Halloween ones. Most of these are very annoying to get. But... Eventually you can get it. Also, that is an eye from the con eye consumer. So you have to make sure you kill that. Because they're different to the original eyes. Blood Moon. Super annoying. You do not want to farm this. This is just annoying. Most of it you have to be fishing. Just have uh, fishing anywhere in your world will spawn have a chance to spawn any of these guys also make sure this here I actually forgot how I did this I think I did this by yes I think I just chucked a the curse splash potion onto a fish and then that's how I got the two different types of the two bunnies and the two fi a fish I'm pretty sure that's how I did it even the penguin those are the those are the ones you have to worry about the critters because you have to get both types in your world all these just create a the little graveyard basically underground all simple ones really bosses you should not need a guide for these because they are all super easy to find if you don't if you need help that's the martian basically boss <laughs> apparently they classified this as a boss just 100 torches automatically spawns Spawns in a slime rain. Uh, world of Eden. Like, I'm pretty. You know what? I'm just gonna skip this because all these bosses are super easy to spawn. Even this guy. Just uh, get a ice farm. Just get yourself that first stuff. Now the legendary ones, like the super rare ones. This guy spawns in the giant trees, but he has to, yeah, basically spawns in the big trees. This guy spawns near the ocean uh, in a forest. This person spawns anywhere in the world in a forest. This guy spawns at, at Blood Moon. Blood Moon, Blood Moon, Blood Moon, Blood Moon, <laughs> Blood Moon. All these are Blood Moon. Is their pain in the ass. This is very simple. Anyone should have this. This also. Him, him, him. Definitely him. Them. They're basically the same thing. So that's good. They spawn all the time in those biomes. Ice Golem. Told you about him. That guy, Beetle, spawns in the ice underground. Same for the ice. Isn't it? Whoops. And then you have this guy. Spawns basically in a tornado. S the sea snail. Squid. The jungle beetle. This guy spawns on the surface at night time. Remember that? A moth spawns underground jungle. Dungeon. Oh, there's a dungeon. This guy in hell. I told you about this guy. I told you about that one. All these mimics, you should know how to get them. Rainbow Slime, simple. Goblin Army. 
pirate army equips but yeah that's basically all of those guys now what is rare here probably all the gold critters but i've already found all of them because i've played this game too much <laughs> surface be aware of these turtles one is jungle and one is oh and one is that uh, planes I got mixed up with these two, so don't do what I did. Party time! Now, just for the sake of it, I'm just gonna scroll down for all of you who are just going off this page. But I mostly went off the filters, so it was easier to locate. Yas. Okay. Just received the pa package. Yes. I will be doing a mini version of this. Just because some people just want to know what creature it is. And that's everything. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And this is my this is my hole, my floating island, my many many farms that I've created in this world. I've created all these different biomes just so I can do it. <laughs> created this, like so I've basically created everything as well. Even this. Why is there a hole there? I forgot why I did that. But yeah. If you need any more questions, even this is my farm that I have not completed yet. And these are all the biomes. Even that's a normal biome. I just put it in the middle. This is my ultimate fishing location. Just so I can get all the maxed out fishing gear that I needed. Like, um... Yeah, there you go. This is all the maxed out fishing gear. And if you need any help on PlayStation, just let me know. I'm here to help. Oh, because I got nothing else to do on this game. Because, like, yeah. I got all these. I got everything in this game. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed and.